Hello guys, Wanda here, and I have a fun bit of experimenting I want to do with you guys, and it's going to involve no wipe top coat. It has to be UV. Uh, you can use UV resin, but it works better with the top coat, but resin will, will work. Um, a color shift or chameleon um, uh, pure pigment powder, something that will you know, color shift. That's a messy rock, but a nice tester. <laughs> um, we are going to make some dragon scales. I don't know if you can see these. Or alligator scales, snake skin. These are my samples. Isn't that fun? So we're going to do a whole rock with the chameleon. So first we've got to apply our chrome powder and make a nice, you don't want too, too much of this, but it's a rock, big, way bigger than a fingernail. So <laughs> anyways, we're going to do a layer of top coat and cure it for 60 seconds. This is, um, 60 seconds and a big light, um, probably two cycles in the small six watts. Okay, so we just need that to cure. I'm gonna pop it in there for 60 seconds. While that's curing, like, let's talk about the secret ingredient. This is actually Dawn dish soap in here. I've just poured some into a bottle. I put some water in a jar and I'm blowing bubbles. Yep, you saw it, bubbles. This is the secret ingredient. This is what's going to uh, create our dragon skin, snake skin, scales, whatever you wanna call it. So we got 20 seconds left. Ready for the countdown. Oh, you guys, this is so cool. And you can do this on bigger, you know, make a, make these bubbles really big if you wanted to do it like really big dragon scale on a bigger rock. I just don't have that much top coat. So <laughs> to show you how to do it, <clears throat> we'll start here. So first off, I'm going to get some chrome powder onto the rock and I'm going to rub it around with my glove because it goes faster. It doesn't take much of this chrome powder to get a full chrome effect. See that? I mean, it just happens with just a microscopic amount of colored powder. Isn't that pretty? It's like full metal. So now we've got the full color shift as well. We've got the purple and green. There's the purple and there's the green. All right, so pretty for dragon scales or mermaid scales. You want to have uh, some alcohol handy just to clean up yourself and your area and a paper towel. Okay. Now apply your top coat and you're not going to cure this yet so apply it and hold okay and this needs to be a thin layer of top coat not dripping off the rock Okay, if don't cure it while it's wet is when you apply your bubbles. And you don't want heavy bubbles, you want like medium 
but different sized bubbles. Okay, I'm going to use a spatula or paint, what is that, a palette knife? And be careful, don't drag the bubbles across your rock because it will mess up the effect. I may need some more bubbles here. <laughs> Hang on. I should have grabbed a spoon. So you basically just want them to lay there. And then put it in your light for 60 seconds. That's our magic number. All right, 60 seconds in the light. This is a Beatles, I think it's an 84 watt or an 82 watt. Um, the light isn't really that important, it's the cure. So if you have the six watt light, maybe try one cure and just expose just a tad corner, make sure it's not too sticky. You can always put a top coat over it and cure it again after you wipe the bubbles off. Okay. Let's check it. Okay. Let me grab my. And voila! Magic. Completely cured. It's, um, the texture of it is magnificent. Yes, it's scratchy and bumpy and so satisfying. I don't know if you guys are like that, but I love bumpy textured surfaces. So this is just completely perfect the way it is, just like this. But you could always apply resin or a top coat over it. Let me bring this in so you can really admire this. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Anyways, you could work from here and do like a dragon's eye or just, oh my goodness, say something great like I am dragon or Khaleesi or you know, Game of Thrones, something really cool. Just dragon's egg. So beautiful. Okay, we're going to experiment with a few other things in the bubbles. So hold on just a moment. Okay, this also works with gel polish um, on top. So this is base coated. It's a molded rock, base coated in uh, Folk Art Color Shift Orchid Flash. Gorgeous. It has a gold flash to it. So we're gonna use a white uh, gel polish and paint it with a very thin coat. Just kind of gel polish isn't the easiest to use, so just try the best you can to get a thin coat going Okay, let's make some bubbles. And I'm just gonna <laughs> try to do this without bumping the camera. Right on top of that, because I want big ones. Drop. <laughs> It might be too big. Those are too big. Okay. 
but look how cool. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it already. Here, let's see. All right, let me try it again. I'm not touching the rock with my spatula, just getting the bubbles on there. It's hard to do this with camera. It'd be so much easier if I could just bend over it, but isn't that what they all say? Yes, that was a terrible joke, sorry. I know, I'm never gonna hear the end of that one. <laughs> oh, these bubbles make me happy, you guys. Okay, here we go. We're gonna cure this for 60 seconds. Ta-da, 60. Okay, magic. Okay, magically it's been 30 seconds. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Isn't that pretty? So we got the big ones over here. Could have been a thinner coat of the top coat there. That would have been even cooler looking. All right, we're going to do another one. All right, for this big bad boy, we're going to use some UV resin and test my theory. So we're going to do a thin coat so that we can capture a whole bunch of different chameleon pigments. Okay, so just make sure it's an even coat, thin, thin coat, nothing too crazy. Let's switch this here. And you don't have to apply it with a brush. You can use your fingers. I mean, your gloved fingers. Please wear gloves, okay? Please wear your gloves. Anyways, a thin layer. Make sure it's evenly distributed. And cure that. I'm going to say uh, three ci two cycles at 120. And then we'll check it for stickiness. Okay, good. So for this, let's see. I'm just gonna drop it on with my fan brush here. Around. We're going to blend this better in a moment. All right. 
and rub with your gloved fingers. So you want to cover all of the resin, you'll, you can feel it, it's kind of a, it has a little bit of a drag to it. Very pretty. buffing out the surface there. It already looks like a dragon's egg, huh? <laughs> the more you rub, the more dragon's eggy it gets. The more metallic or what do you call it? Um, chrome. Okay. I'm just going to clean this up real quick. Okay, now another layer of resin. Again, you don't want it dripping down the sides, but thin coat, even. Excuse the giggling. My man is it? My little man, my son. He's 11 and he's playing a video game. All right. Here we go. Don't cure it. Blow some bubbles. <laughs> too big, too big. I got a big air in there. Hang on. Start over. Moly, better be long winded. So glad I quit smoking <laughs> years ago now. Get off me. Okay, I think we're good here. Just want to make sure it's covered. bigger than my UV light. I'm going to hold my UV light above it for 60 seconds. Okay, here's the big reveal. Yes. Okay, there it is. Look at that baby. 
Isn't it gorgeous? And you see all the color shifting goodness. And the scales. So, a couple things. Don't resin on top of this because it'll all disappear. Resin bonds to resin. So, hard lesson learned. It'll just be beautifully resined. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Here's a little. See right there? Where I put resin on it to test it. And it just faded out the line. So, um, I think if you wanted to do a sealer, it's sealed. But if you wanted to, like, do something else with it, um, you could spray it. But you could probably paint just right on top of this and then do a... A glossy spray sealer I just like this the way it is it is um, textured which I love that I got to paint the bottom <laughs> um, anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching my craziness and experiments and I hope that you enjoyed this and who knows maybe we'll be making a whole bunch of dragon eggs <laughs> anyways happen happy dragoning see you soon